four kids. We're going to talk a little bit about some technique, then we're going to learn new things. Um, to start with, we're going to start with Sinead turns. And what I'd like to do is go to just the first position so your heels are together. And you're going to point your right foot out, and you're going to plie your standing leg. Keeping your plie on your standing leg, this top leg right here is nice and straight. You don't want to put any weight on that. It's just like the tip of your toe on the ground. And let's round that front arm. We're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to step apart together, apart together. We'll do like four steps. And I want your head to look the direction you're going, not turn. Straight legs and really high roller face. So you don't want bent knees and you don't want your heels really close to the ground. You're not going to be all the way up here, but you want to try to get all the way up on the ball of your foot. Five, six, ready, bring your goes, open, close. Two times, close. Three times, close. Four times, she's there. Let's go the opposite. So she's going to bend her back leg, and she's going to the left, so she's pointing her left foot, her head is side. Five, six, ready, tight knees, open, close, open, close, open, close, and that's off. All right, now we're gonna work on our spot. So what I want you to do is you can look at your computer or in a mirror, or you're at home, if you have one of those spinny chairs, sit in the spinny chair. But I want you to think about your head. We're gonna look, Brenda's gonna look in the mirror, and Brenda wants you to turn to your right, so towards me, and she's gonna look at her eyes as long as she can, and she's gonna whip her head around super quick. And when you do your turns, that head whip is what makes you not as dizzy. If you just turn like this, you're gonna get super dizzy and fall. All right, let's just march in place. Five, six, ready, she marches, march, march with her head, and she's going to march, march with her head, and she march, march with her head, one more, march, march with the head. Nice job. She doesn't do this, but sometimes when little kids learn how to do this, they start here, and then they like try to look really far and turn around, and that's gonna make you fall down. So make sure that your body is super straight. You're gonna look all the way over one shoulder, whip your head around to the other shoulder, and then keep going. Can you go to the left this time? Five, six, red, she has, walk, walk, and lifts her head. Walk, walk, she looks for her eyes. Walk, walk, she looks for her eyes. Walk, walk, she looks for her eyes. And it's really fun in a spinning chair because you have someone spinning and you can try to spot your head and see how many you can do without falling down once you stand up. That's what me and my mom used to play when I was little. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for the turn. So instead of spotting her eyes, she's gonna look to the side and she's looking at the clock wall. Her body is still gonna rotate, her head is gonna whip. Five, six, ready, she goes, step, whip, step, step, whip. You're gonna feel like mm -hmm. one side's really good and one side's not as good, and that's normal, but you know, we'll just practice the hard side would be hard. Five, six, ready, left side, step, step, whip, step, step, whip, step, step, whip, step, step, whip. Nice job. Keep those knees really straight. Okay, that's one thing I want you guys to practice. And that's not something you have to like just practice right now. You can do that anytime. Spotting your head is gonna help you have good turns for the rest of your life. All right, we're gonna start working on a new step, and this new step comes in your dance today, and they are kickball changes. Let's put our hands on our waist, and let's start with the right foot. I want you to kick your right foot forward, kick, and you're gonna do two steps. This foot's gonna step back, and your left foot's gonna step front. Let's do it again, ready? Kick, back, front. Now, as you kick out, straight leg, point and toe. You're not doing one of these kicks. You wanna be Tight, low, low, tight, knee, low, low. Let's try the left. Five, six, two in a row. Tight, knee, low, low, tight, knee, low, low. Good job. Once you have that perfect, you're going to add into a little bit of a hop. And that hop comes on that kick. So you're going to have hop, low, low, little hop, low, low. It doesn't have to be really high. Just leave the ground a little bit. Let's do right foot and left. Two in a row. Five, six, ready, right foot, twice. Kick, low, low, kick, low, low, left foot. Five, six, ready, left foot, kick, low, low, kick, low, low. Make sure you're not going stop, stop on your low lows. You can't hear our feet, and that's, that's our goal. Let's go from step kick. Here we go. Five, six, ready, left foot, it's step, we kick, step, we fly. Five, six, seven, eight, head down, two, reach up, four, sit, five, six, 
six, roll seven, eight, reach one, two, around three, four, step, five, six, we turn, eight, slide, one, slide, three, four, step, back, back, front, knee, back, back, front, huh. two times, and here's the turn, third time, and fourth time, and we're up. Remember that is back front, hop, back front, hop. And the hop is really important on that third one. We have to turn because if you're not hopping, you won't be able to rotate your body all the way around. And that's where we ended last week, yes? Oh, we did the shot station, right? We shot station right foot. One and two, we went back. Three and four, point and foot. We shot to the back. Five, six, seven, snap, eight. Left foot is in touch right here. This is the new part of the day. You're stepping to the back with your left foot, hands gonna go on your waist. Step, that's on number one. Your body turns to the front. Two, right here, your left foot's behind you. I want you to have a little bit of a bent knee. You have two kickball changes with your left foot. Three and four, remember a little hop, hop, bump, bump. Let's do that again. From the snap, five, six, seven, eight. It's one, bend, kick, back, front, kick, back, front. Next part, you're going to step your left foot forward in a plie. This is number seven. On eight, you're going to pull your knee up, parallel passe. But really, you're going to do a little hop, and it's going to turn your body all the way over to the side. You want to make sure both knees are to the side, and that both toes are so you don't come up pigeon toe. When we do that step to the front, boop, boop, boop. Your arms are going to cross. We're going to cross in front of your chest. Left one on top, like leftovers like food. When you go for your snap, you're going to pull your left arm all the way up and your right arm out. So you can still see your face. Well, your toe to your knee, rather than like a yoga pose, you definitely don't want a flex foot. Goal would be a nice high tabletop is what we call it. So it should come straight up from your hip. You ready to go for the snap? Get ready to pivot. Five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, kick, three, 